CJ Punisher. Choosing a weight that I can control slowly. I'm making sure that I'm squeezing at the bottom of the lift. And I'm using this grip for my rows. With this, with this particular grip, um, I'm able to incorporate biceps. I'm trying to get some extra work on my biceps. Um, but it's important that you squeeze at the end. Squeeze the muscle that you're working. My muscle connection helps to build muscle. And you don't have to lift heavy ass weights. More important is the volume right now. Especially if you're trying to lose fat. So I'm doing four sets of 20, and I'm, I'm squeezing, I'm contracting the muscle every single rep. Every single rep I'm doing slow and controlled. That's more important than just throwing the weight up, not really thinking about um, connecting your mind to the muscle that you're working. That's very important. So you don't have to lift heavy ass weight to build muscle. Whoever told you that lied to you. you lift weights that you can control. CJ Punisher. If you can't do pull-ups, that's totally fine. I remember when I can't do pull-ups. Matter of fact, I'm gonna cut to the first time I ever tried to do pull-ups. I'll show you what it looks like. But if you can't do pull-ups, a good way to work on the muscles that, sh that you need to strengthen in order to do pull-ups is with the, this machine right here. But you wanna use the wide grip bar. So you're doing wide grip lat pull-downs on this machine right here. That's a good way to strengthen your lats with your, your upper body, period. All the muscles you need in order to execute a pull-up. And even if you can't, you, you can only do one pull-up right now, do one pull up, right? And then try to do another one. Just pull as much as you can. If you could do 1.2 pull ups, keep doing them. And eventually 1.2 will turn into 1.5, and then it'll turn into two. And next thing you know, you keep going on that, you know, at that pace. You know, you give it a try every few days. Before you know it, you're doing sets of 10. Trust me, I could not do one pull up when I first started. I could not do one. And now I'm doing clips clips of 10 or 15 pull-ups at a time so trust me you can do it you just gotta stay at it and work on it i did those bent over rows with a wider grip the wider grip concentrates more on the upper back I did enough lat, I did lat pull downs, I did the, the cable lat pull downs. So I'm not trying to focus so much on my lats. So when you're doing a narrow grip, that focuses more on your lats. When you have a wider grip, it focuses more on the big muscles in your upper back. With those lower back raises, I don't know the technical term for it, I'll research it. You wanna go from the, a low, almost 90 degree angle, I guess like this, with your body like this, and then come up so your body's about even. Don't come up this way, because if you come up too high, that's when you'll activate your, your hamstrings. So you wanna keep all the tension on your lower back. So it's this motion till about here, here. Don't come up this way. Please, please do not neglect your lower back. I'm guilty of this. I don't work my lower back as much as I should. I'm gonna start doing more deadlifts. I deadlift, but not as nearly as much as I should. Uh, another good exercise, I'll show you in another video. This is, this is the Superman, super easy, but 
your, your lower back is really important. It'll help you as you get older, and a lot of people are not thinking about that right now, but the stronger your lower back, the healthier your body will be. Your lower back and your, and your legs are so important as far as functional movement and functional muscles are concerned. So don't neglect your lower back. Make sure you're hitting your lower back on your back days. All right, so that wraps up my, my back workout for today. I'm about to finish up my workout with 20 minutes of cardio, some intense cardio, and I'm gonna head home for my first meal of the day. <laughs>